Hi friends, today we'll look at different type of log files in Ubuntu and Rocky Linux and how to list their content using different type of commands. I have two VMs running, one with Ubuntu 2010 and the other is Rocky Linux 8.5 which is the same as Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8.5. I'm using Wakren and Hyper-V on my Windows 11 machine to run these VMs, uh, which I covered in a previous video, if you're interested. In all Linux distros, logs are stored in the directory var forward slash log. Here you can find logs from the OS, services, and various applications. Some applications may store their logs separately. Here's a list of most used log files and their purpose, which we'll go through with examples. These log files can help you with troubleshooting failed logins or scheduled tasks, but also help you with proactively looking for security issues. In order to list the content of the log files, we can use various commands like cat, less, tail, head, watch, grab, and so forth. Each had their own purpose, which we'll go through one by one. But keep, keep in mind that you need to run them with sudo in order to view the log files. cat is the most simple command to view text-based files. In one of my previous videos, I mentioned how you can set up syntax highlighting for cat by installing pigments, which is a package available on all Linux distros. You can then assign pigments to the alias cat. Using cat this way will enable syntax highlighting for current user, but not when used with sudo. In order to work around that, you can pipe your sudo command with cat. Cat will list the content of the file completely, which is not best suited for when viewing very long files, like log files. But it does finish on the last line, which is good, because the end of the uh, log file is the most recent entry which we need often when troubleshooting. Each line in the syslog, we can see a timestamp, hostname, app name, priority, and description. With less, we view the content of a file, but page by page, by using the spacebar, instead of the whole content at once. This is especially handy for large files, but not for log files, because the most recent entries of a log file are stored at the bottom and those are the one we need to look at most often. Using the less command we can use a forward slash to search for a string. For a list of all the short keys press H to get the help section. The tail command is most popular when viewing log files. That's because it lists the last few lines of a file. You could also say that tail command is used to read the file from the ending. And because most recent entries of a log file are at the end, this makes tail command very handy. By default, the tail command shows the last 10 lines of a file, but you can change this by using a number as a flag, which would indicate the amount of lines to show from the ending. The head command is the reverse of tail, which means that it lists the top few lines of a file, which are the oldest entries of a log file and doesn't help us, unless the log entries in a log file are reversed and the recent entries are added at the top. Just like tail command, the head command shows 10 lines by default, but we can use a number as a flag to show different amount of lines. If you want to keep track of any new entries in a log file, then you can use the watch command. But you need to use it in combination with the tail command to show the recent entries. Here I'm viewing the authentication log on the left pane, and on the right pane I try to run a command that requires password. When I enter a wrong password, we can see a new entry in the log file. With grep, we can search for patterns, which makes it very handy for searching through log files. 
grab is very powerful and I'll try to dedicate a separate video on the subject in the future. You can use grab on its own or pipe it with any of the mentioned commands to search through the output. Here I'm searching for the string service in the syslog first by using grab on its own and then by piping it with cat. If you want to search something in the last few lines then use tail and pipe it with grab. If you want to search the whole log file then use cat and pipe it with grab. Use the dash i flag to make your search string case insensitive. When piping with grab you'll get your search string highlighted. D message stands for diagnostic messages and it shows messages that are printed by the kernel for example messages about the drivers. You can use the following flags to view types of messages or use grab to search for a string. In order to show timestamps use a dash capital T flag. In order to watch the messages as they arrive in D message, then use the dash dash follow flag. Logger is a command that enables you to add your own custom log entries to syslog. Here we start watching the syslog in one pane and in the other pane trigger a new log entry using logger, which then is visible in the syslog. You can also use system variables in your log entry. For more information on variables, watch my video on the subject. Journal CTL is among other things used for logging information from the kernel, boot messages, user processes, standard output and error of services. Depending on your user permissions, you might not need to run journal with sudo. The logs in journal CTL are sorted just like other logs, starting with the oldest at the top and the newest at the bottom, which means you'll need to scroll down to view most, most recent logs. But by using the dash R flag, you can reverse the uh, order and view the most recent logs at the top. To view a limited number of lines, use a dash N flag followed with a number. And just like other commands, you can pipe it with grep to search for a pattern. Journal CTL also has a flag to follow any new logs and display them live by using the dash F flag. But best to use it with dash N flag to limit the amount of lines or with dash U flag to filter for a specific service like Secure Shell. With the journal CTL you can also access logs from previous boots of the system. Zero is for the most recent boot, so the higher the number, the older the boot. You can view the logs of a boot by using the dash B flag followed by the boot number. With dash dash since flag, you can show only logs since a time or date, or use a relative time parameters. We can view logs based on priority by using dash p flag followed by type of priority. Here's a list of priorities you can use. Hope you enjoyed this video about log files in Linux and how to view them using different type of commands. And I'll see you in the next video.